Well, we're seeing the shadows stretch across downtown. We can see that because the sun is back and now lower humidity coming in. Cooler stuff. The nasty stuff is moving away. Thank goodness. So there's a look over downtown 78 degrees. The dew point now at 64. It's not bone dry yet, but that's going to happen as we go through tonight and tomorrow. So cooling down and drying out 50s to start the day tomorrow and good stuff rolling. So the humidity big time drop. We'll notice it even more as we go through the day tomorrow. And then another front comes in Sunday that'll drop us down cooler. You can see a little green notch in Alabama and northwest Georgia. That's the front that's been moving in uh, 67 in Rome. We still have upper 70s near 80 here, and that's my favorite. The dew point getting carved away toward the south and east. You can see the dark green starting to move away with the storm. Ada continuing its uh, trek toward the east northeast. A few clouds left over in a few spots, but all the rain now in the Carolinas. So the latest on the storm is it's out in the Atlantic now. Let's see, what does it have here? That's the current numbers you can see right there, 40 mile per hour. It's moving northeast at 18, so this thing is getting on out of here. Hopefully that'll be the last one we see this year. We'll see. So we've had a warm stretch. Uh, it's been nuts, actually, over the past few days. It's felt more like August than November for some of these mornings. Meteorologist Austin Cheney takes us on a deeper dive into the numbers out in the garden. What's up, man? Hey, I tell you what, it is already feeling a lot better out here. But, you know, the last couple days we've set some record high temperatures in both Macon and Atlanta. But what's more impressive is what we felt during the overnight hours with those record lows. Take a look at some of these numbers. So the last three days we've set a record morning low temperature here in Macon. We go back to Tuesday morning. We were 69 degrees, breaking that 1979 record by three degrees. But then that margin of record warmth with our minimum temperatures just expanded into Wednesday and Thursday. We shattered a 2002 record on Wednesday morning at 72 degrees for a warm morning low temperature. Pretty much the same story as we went into Thursday as well. And if you think records are supposed to be extremes, normally when we break a record, we only do it by a degree or two. And we were just blowing these records out of the water by three to seven degrees this week. Just crazy. Now here's another way to think of the warmth that we've been dealing with this week. Look at the number compared to average. So the last three mornings we've all seen low temperatures in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Normally this time of year we would wake up to an average low of 44 degrees. So Wednesday morning we were 28 degrees above normal. It's just an incredible stretch of warmth that of course we felt during the day but more so there in the overnight lows. But like you said Ben that cooler air is creeping in. We've got a couple fronts. And I know you'll be showing us more on that coming up later in the show. Yeah, it was so warm, Austin went sleeves up. I did, a little bit. <laughs> Good job, man. Good job.